Good morning, my darlings. <laughs> Please excuse all the marks on the mirror. It is a beautiful Sunday morning. We are doing a little barbecue later on today for my mum's birthday. I think this is going to be a three day vlog today, tomorrow, and Tuesday. <laughs> and it's going to be a really lovely one. We are heading into London tomorrow for various bits and bobs. And then on Tuesday, we're heading to Chelsea Flower Show. So it's going to be a jam packed one. I'm heading unsurprisingly for a Reformer Pilates class and I very quickly wanted to show you this new set from Adenola because it's just rather lovely. It's their new design which has got this crisscross uh, kind of wrap detail which is very comfortable and I think very flattering as well. It gives the illusion of a minuscule waist and then they've got this square neckline on the tops and I am a big fan. I've also got, which I'm going to shove on now, one of their new jumpers. Let me show you how this looks. You are balanced on a plant pot. This could go one of two ways. Let's take out the tag. I always get asked if I have an Adenola discount code. I'm afraid, I don't think they do discounts aside from Cyber Week, but I will leave these pieces linked down below. And if you're ever in doubt as to whether I have a discount code, you can always check the discount directory on my blog. There we go, these are just so comfy. I feel like they're even softer than the original designs. So very, very simple, great to chuck on over your fitness clothing. It's just got that little bit of branding. So <laughs> it's my very trendy outfit of the morning. Let's go to Pilates. I'm back home again, showered, a little bit, tiny bit of makeup on, I feel like I've mastered the three minute makeup, just a bit of BB cream, blush and brows and jobs, jobs are good in. So I feel that for the next 10 minutes of this vlog or something it's going to be a lot of time lapses because we've just got a lot of stuff that we want to crack on with in the garden and then preparing a few yummy bits for barbecuing later. So we've got to do things like planting roses, potting up some lavender, um, I'm going to do a little tidy of the greenhouse and it's such a lovely day so let's get busy. spoken too much today. <laughs> I had a feeling this might happen. We have been endlessly gardening, probably about seven or eight hours of gardening. And now, as you might be able to hear from my click clacking feet, I'm heading down to the kitchen garden, just grabbing um, a few florals to add to our table. We're doing a nice barbecue and I've got an asparagus and risotto tart in the Arga to have with our barbecue. I really love this angelica as a cut flower on the table. I think it looks so pretty. And the horseradish flower is beautiful. I have no idea what I look like because 
I've not looked in the mirror in a very long time, but let's do a little taste test of the hibiscus and ginger from the London fermentary. It's got, um, is it kombucha in it? Water kefir cultures, hibiscus. Hopefully it should be rather lovely. I've just popped it with some ice and some rosemary as a garnish. Oh, it's fizzy. Oh my goodness. That is very refreshing. Mmm. I love the flavour of hibiscus. Lala's got the other one. I'm gonna trial that as well. Such a nice option to take to a house or to have in your fridge for people that don't drink alcohol or um, just want something a bit better for you. Mmm. Lovely. Let me show you the table. We've got our Columbia Collective cute little napkin holders. Just folded over these little linen napkins I got from Amazon. Rebecca Udal placemats, Bertioli by Time tablecloth. Oh, shish kebabs. Oh my gosh. Angelica toppling over. Popped those in the glasses, a few potted plants, just some fresh mint in the water. More Angelica and horseradish in the vases. Barbecue's nearly finished, ricotta tarts are nearly done, and it's almost time to eat. Tart is out the aga, and it looks delicious. I used the leftover puff pastry and asparagus to make some little wrap things, um, and then I put loads of cheese on them, <laughs> they're still in the aga. And then we've got a rocket and blue cheese and toasted walnut salad covered in lovely balsamic vinegar. with Simon and then it's gonna be a busy day heading into London and that's all I have to say for now it's seven o'clock in the morning and my coffee hasn't kicked in yet <laughs> again <laughs> rubbish vlogging just like yesterday but I'm just rushing about um, before heading into London for the Chelsea flower show fun so great workout this morning with Simon um, lifted the heaviest weights <laughs> that I have lifted so far and I've just spent the morning finishing packing for Ibiza packing for Chelsea flower show and um, I'm getting a 2 p.m. train into London now for some various lovely things that are going on. But before we go, I'm gonna make myself a really nice, quick and healthy and delicious lunch. We have got one meal left in our HelloFresh box, which arrived last week, and it is a veggie curry, and I cannot wait to make that for Charlie and I for lunch. It's a rapid meal, so it shouldn't take too long. I do have the most incredible discount code for HelloFresh. I will leave all the details on the screen here. If you've not tried HelloFresh before, it just makes meal times so easy and simple and nutritious to have homemade homemade meals and also I think it's a great way of teaching you how to cook as well. I've learnt so many recipes and things that I would have thought would be really complicated but just with the ease of the recipe card I find it so so easy. So if you want to get the most incredible discount on your HelloFresh the details are on the screen here. Now I'm going to get cooking and then it's time to head into London. Hello. We're here in the kitchen and um, I'm absolutely Marvin, Marvin Orama. If you don't understand my slogans, <laughs> my sayings, that means I'm very hungry. Um, and I'm going to do one of the HelloFresh meals because this says that it will be ready in less than 20 minutes, which sounds good to me. This is my Thai green veggie curry. Yum. And it's actually got quite a lot of pak choy in it. And I have got a lot of pak choy in the garden, as you saw this morning. So hopefully this really is 
easy peasy um, because then I can recreate this. It's actually very easy. There's like five steps and one of the steps is add peas into the curry. <laughs> so it's gonna be super duper easy. So I need to boil the kettle and get started. Do, be do, be do, do, be do. Let's move my decorative mint. And here are all the ingredients. Really nice green and healthy looking ingredients. I'm gonna start off by cooking the rice. And I'm very grateful for these little portioned bags um, because I am so guilty of normally overcooking or cooking way too much rice for a single or double portion. Rice is on and I'm gonna start by chopping and peeling my little baby garlic. Dempsey, so good looking. This just look delicious. A Thai green veggie curry on a bed of fluffy white rice. Oh my gosh, I could so easily recreate this with veg straight from the kitchen garden, but that took me realistically 25 minutes, including kettle boiling time. Finished off with a sprinkling of sesame seeds, and I cannot wait to tuck in. London after a delicious lunch at home that was super tasty. So I have to share with you this incredible location. We are staying in our friends Hannah and Phil's flat. The word flat just doesn't do it justice. Glamorous apartment here in Chelsea because we have got a very early start to the flower show tomorrow morning. If it's active already. I will leave the details for this place linked down below because I believe that they are actually starting to rent this place out as a little holiday rental, which is amazing. Not quite the same vibes as Straw Top Cottage. It's very contemporary, very, I mean, I'll just show you around in a second because the interiors in here are absolutely gorgeous, but feel very, very lucky that they've said that we can stay here tonight. It's absolutely perfectly located for my nail appointment and for of course the flower show tomorrow really close to the king's road hannah's taste in interiors is just chef's kiss perfection i feel like if i was to do london living all over again these are the vibes that i would go for i think a lot of you will take a lot of interior inspo from this so let me give you a very quick show around where do I even begin? Okay, this is the kitchen area. So they have got this beautiful marble bull nose, I think you call it bull nose, edging here on the units. And gosh, I would never have naturally opted for this kind of olive, deep olive color on the cabinets, but with the brass fittings, it just looks stunning. Oh, she's got a salad spinner. That's so funny. I was literally thinking the other day that I need a salad spinner for all my leaves from the garden. I haven't had a prom proper rummage around yet. It feels like I'm raiding someone's house, even though I don't think they've ever, like, li they've never lived here. Um, and it is, I think, going to be a rental property, but um, yeah, I still feel like I'm snooping. They've so kindly left us some bread and the fridge is fully stocked with no less than Dalesford eggs, some kombucha, compote from Dalesford, Dalesford butter oh my goodness you can see why we get along so well hazelnut milk we've got oh ah the fridge is a little bit too cold so it has completely frozen uh-huh yeah they did ask us to check okay i'll have a little play around with the settings because that's not ideal um i guess this is a little freezer yep amazing cupboards oh lots of snacks in there 
and look at this for a little pantry cupboard. Not so little, we've got pasta, we've got teas. Um, oh, so many yummy treats in here. Porridge oats, pumpernickel bread, that is my favorite. Hannah knows me so well. Gorgeous, very chic and sleek kitchen. Oh, I just love it. I love these cabinets, oh my gosh. I would quite like <laughs> to have an apartment in London like this. How fabulous. This is the beautiful fireplace. What a great use of space as well. So, excuse my stuff everywhere. This, um, what would be a corridor has been turned into a bonquette style seating, which is a great use of space. Gorgeous fireplace. And the metal surround is almost olivey like the kitchen cabinets. Then she's gone for a beautiful blue on this bookcase here with some gorgeous books in there. Lovely, I always think it's very interesting to see what kind of books people have got. Hmm, <laughs> Flax the police dog, <laughs> love it. And then look at this for the living room. The colors in here are so fabulous. Really cool light fitting, that actually reminds me of Racco d'Arta, which is where we met Phil and Hannah last summer. We've become very good friends in a very short space of time. We just have so much in common and we always have the best chats when we're with them and their children are so lovely too. We're going out for dinner with them tonight, so that'll be great. She's got the latest country and townhouse magazine, Soho House, City Country Coast, a very bright blue sofa. I love this mirror. Gives the room such a big feel. What a gorgeous, gorgeous just idea to do that on the back wall. So much interest with the bookcase surround, and yet you don't feel like you're sat in a bookcase. It's just lovely. No television, I notice. Is there one hidden? Do you know what? I really don't mind that. I don't mind at all that there's no TV. In fact, I rather love it. This unit here is um, for drinks pieces. You've got the lovely, I think that's Rebecca Oodle, ice bucket. Oh, and I haven't even been upstairs yet lovely terracotta vase that's gorgeous so you come in through this long corridor down here love the carpet there's a turquoise study room in there fabulous color um, oh some deliveries there for them look at this carpet too it's so fun it's like a rattan material in the most fabulous color oh my gosh there are two more floors <gasps> look at this oh my gosh this is what i love the fabric inside the bookcase, um, wardrobe rather. I'm so tempted to do something like that in my room, my dressing room. How cute is this? So it's a double bed. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Bookcase built into the wall. Look at these fabrics, oh my gosh. Hannah, your tastes are just so divine. Um, and it's in like a little, it looks like a Punch and Judy curtain <laughs> set up. So you've got this gorgeous, gorgeous thick curtain. Wow. Samuel and some son's um, piping. Look at this. Beautiful details. I love the lampshade. Lovely view. Oh, someone's got a nice terrace. And there's more. How many more floors are there? My goodness. I'm already on the third floor. Oh my gosh. Oh, I recognize this throw. We've got this at home too. Wow, this room is huge. I feel like I'm in Babington House. You've got the gorgeous, um, what do I call it? I've forgotten what it's called, the boarding. Beautiful little bedside tables. What a lovely size room this is. Gosh, oh, I'm a little bit speechless. This place is just stunning. Beautiful art on the walls, really contemporary patterns. Look at this, mustard curtains, mustard corduroy curtains. They're so thick and luxurious with this trim. Oh, Phil and Hannah, can I book this for next year's Chelsea Flower Show, please? Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love this lampshade. It's almost a little bit aztec -y. Mirrored with the fabric on the chair. Love the, the bobble effect and then we've got another bathroom there's a little bathroom downstairs too oh storage storage cupboards either side really beautifully done with the oh it's lovely antique brass rail full length mirror look at this oh my gosh the first thing you spot oh my god <laughs> i'm sorry but this is just am i in babington house or am I in the middle of Chelsea? 
Look at this. Beautiful antique brass towel heater. Big marble tub. I mean, to have a tub like this in central London. You've got this gorgeous double sink with the red furniture. Oh my gosh. Bramley toiletries, diptyque candle. This antique brass, oh my goodness, with the wooden, what do you call it? Stunning, look at this. Oh my gosh, so her farmhouse, eat your heart out. Beautiful antique brass fixtures and fittings. Bramley in there. Even the loo is lovely. Oh my goodness me. This place is just sensational. I don't think there's more. Oh my God, there is, there's more. I think it's just a cleaning cupboard, but let's have a look. Oh my gosh, there's a terrace. <laughs> wow. Okay, cleaning cupboard, back of house. But then, note to self, lock this when you're finished. Oh my good lord. <gasps> this is insane. Very cosy with the neighbors one. Someone's got a little glass conservatory down there and a big roof terrace. And here's Chelsea. noise behind but nails are done and look how gorgeous the um, store looks townhouse they've got a beautiful flower company have done some decoration for them for the flower show got a red carpet I'm hoping to pop by again tonight actually they're hosting an event with Lillet lovely uh, so beautiful nails I just love this combo so much it is two coats of OPI bubble bath and one coat of CND's negligee and I also had I think it was called IBX a nail strengthening treatment I thought that'd be a good idea considering they all seem to have broken off lately but I'm thrilled it looks gorgeous so much road work going on in the background but I wanted to share with you how beautiful Rixo looks they've got these lovely it almost looks like um, popcorn bags with white pillowy blooms viburnum peonies and I'm not sure what that is but they look absolutely gorgeous let's have a little look inside my gosh this store is stunning more fabulous floral displays here on the Duke of York Square. Oh my goodness! I wasn't expecting to see a man being eaten by a dinosaur. Quite unusual. I think it's Jurassic Park. I think these are all film themed, judging by these little bits and bobs that are here. I love the use of the teasels. Looks very um, Jurassic. <laughs> Someone's got a good sense of humor. I have a feeling it might be BAFTA themed this year. Potentially, I have seen a BAFTA mask around the corner. I love seeing everyone appreciating the beauty of flowers. Chelsea and Bloom and the flower show really is my favorite time of year in London. It's always lovely to see what they're doing on the shops around the Duke of York Square as well. Rag and Bone always do something lovely on their grand entrance. I think they are going for a down the yellow brick road theme, unless this is always like this. Very mythical with the moss and the woodland balloons coming out, little alliums about to burst. Now walking at pace, I got very distracted by the beautiful flower displays on King's Road and I'm heading now to Belgravia, specifically Elizabeth Street to the Joe Loves store and I think Elizabeth Street is another area where they really decorate so beautifully with all the shops covered in flower displays but the reason that we're going is because Charlie and I have chosen a really beautiful fragrance from Jo Loves and we're gonna fill the house with it for our wedding day and they offer a fragrance tapas experience I don't think any actual tapas is involved but it's a really lovely way to go and discover a fragrance that you love let's try not to get run over while vlogging um, so yeah, heading to the store now, and I'm meeting my lovely friend Hannah there. Oh, I feel like there's so many background noises in today's vlog, that is the joy of vlogging in central London. Um, but yes, I'm meeting Hannah there, and we're going to have a lovely afternoon with the Joe Loves team. So, oh, I can't walk and vlog at the same time. I've lost the neck, and my arm is starting to ache, so I'll see you when we get to the store. 
still. And just as I turn into Elizabeth Street, the sunshine has come out. These are the blue skies we've been promised all day. Thank goodness. Made it to Elizabeth Street, number 42. This is the Joe Love store. It is so beautiful. They always have the most gorgeous floral displays. There's a little fun panda floral um, display outside the front here as well. It's just such a gorgeous place. So we're gonna go in and have our fragrance tapas experience. Can't wait. And you know how sometimes like, you're taking a bath and you're lighting a candle? Yeah, yeah, I swear, yeah. I don't even you don't need to light no. it. Yeah, no, I get it. It just fills up the yeah. entire space. With a lotion, we okay. can do kind of one or two ways. So you can just choose whichever lotion your soul desires. Mm. Or you can tell me which fragrance you would like to apply today. And mm. I will recommend you what we call a Joe's pick. Okay. Very good. So something that she recommends layer with us. Oh, okay. So what would layer with gardenia? With gardenia, well, we can do Joe, jo, yeah. which is a Joe and Joe like and try that yeah. yeah, and because you have two arms, <laughs> we can also try what was on these. Mm. Yeah? Right. yeah, that is that That'd be great. Perfect. <laughs> enough wax but not too much so mm. the candle won't collapse. Wow! Oh my gosh that smell. Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. That's incredible. That's liquidina. Wow. And wow. I'm just gonna take the shot. Oh, yes. oh I'm just wow. Press it. Nice. Mm. Firm. Mm. So there it's fused together and you have yes. so, your beautiful Shop candle. That's amazing! Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful blooms at El Cabernet. Gorgeous. A giant Lion King floral tribute on Duke of York Square. The <laughs> you are your mother's son. I love it. 
we've got Simba, we've got Rafiki, we've got all the zebras, the bison and the buffalo, and doggies! Hello again, darlings. Back to the beautiful apartment. I feel like I can't call it a flat. It's so much more beautiful than a humble flat, as I said earlier. Just the most wonderful afternoon with Hannah at Joe Loves and then we walked down Kings Road and Leo was loving all of the flower displays. I love to see a young person taking such joy and happiness from flowers but the Joe Loves fragrance tapas experience was so much fun, especially the shot candle. I mixed the two, I think it was called Fireplace and Tahitian Rose are the two scents that I chose in my shot candle and it's just gonna smell absolutely amazing when I burn that at home. Anna, who is the store manager, was so passionate, explained all the fragrances in such a gorgeous way, talking through Joe's memories that inspired the fragrances, it was a really wonderful experience, a great thing to do with girlfriends. I would highly recommend it. It would be a really fun like bridal party thing to do as well. We had elderflower, prosecco, it was gorgeous. So now I've just had a quick outfit change, quick freshen up, because I was getting a little bit um, too marinated in my fake tan. And we are going for a lovely Italian this evening with Phil and Hannah, and B and Charlie, and my Charlie. And um, then tomorrow it's Chelsea Flower Show, so I might film a few snippets for the evening. It's probably going to be a very long vlog, I haven't done a three day vlog in a while, but lots to share with you. Let's try and find the best place for an outfit of the day. <laughs> okay, Ooh, I'm nearly as tall as the fireplace. I've popped on probably my favourite of all the Erdem dresses, the green and white one. And I've got the linen one with me to wear tomorrow. Can't wait for that. It's become the most glorious afternoon. It's such a beautiful sunny afternoon. So we're just going to actually have a little glass of wine on the roof terrace before heading out for dinner. I think unfortunately this dress has sold out. But I have seen a very similar one from Reformation which I'll leave linked down below. So this is my outfit of the day. And I'll finish with my little... Gucci sunglasses. Good morning, my darlings. It is Tuesday morning. It is Chelsea Flower Show Day. We had a wonderful night's sleep here at the beautiful apartment last night after a delicious Italian with Phil, Hannah, Charlie and B. We're now heading over to the Chelsea Flower Show. It's a six minute walk, which is fantastic news. And we have got one hour early access before it's gonna get super busy. So outfit of the day today is another floral, Oh. Very bright. Another bright floral Erdem dress. It's going to be quite warm today, so I thought a white linen number would be sensible. And then I've got my Oscar de la Renta tote bag with me. Now, darling, without further ado, let's get going and I'll catch up with you when we're at the flower show. So we've made it. It's still quite a lot of people here. A lot of press, a lot of exhibitors, but we're going to, we're going to be able to see the gardens in a lot more detail for the next hour or so. This is so beautiful. They've got... Are these u balls or Buxus balls? A U. Taxus. Beautiful. A wild herbaceous garden. Beautiful water feature. And a wildflower meadow. I think Into the Wild is the theme this year. Hannam and Taylor Shepherd's Huts. Charlie just spotted they've actually got an outdoor shower off the back of this Shepherd's Hut. Can you imagine? That'd be a great business. Having these as some holiday rentals. <laughs> fire pit. Yeah. Always investigating how other people's veg are doing. Their sweet peas are about a hundred times the size of mine. I'm very jealous. I'm sure they might even come into flower this week. And their broad beans. My goodness. I was just thinking before I left home yesterday how I need to support my broad beans. They've the just got... I'd, I'd plant the purple ones just to look at them. We've got some of those growing. Lovely. These are just being supported by big twigs. I think I need to put some of those in the garden. A beautiful outdoor furniture company, Action Oak, or is that the name of the no, report? No, it's Gaze Burville. Gaze Burville. That's, <laughs> the, that's the name of the report. <laughs> right, okay. Wrong. It's beautiful. It's nice to see some different alternatives to Oxenwood because Oxenwood well, is so expensive. What's lovely is um, Romilly, who we work with at George Smith, it's her family business. So her son wow. is Burville. Ah, gorgeous. Gosh, this garden is so beautifully scented. There's so many bulb blooms. Absolutely beautiful. And they've got a, it's almost like a, um, a half open greenhouse coming off a stone wall with a kitchen inside. What a fabulous idea. 
and a beautiful herbaceous area surrounding it. Let's go and have a look. It is absolutely incredible how much they have built here for this week-long show. They've installed this entire stream. You've got wasabi growing down at the bottom. Everything from leeks over to the brassicas, the salad leaves and the rainbow chard. And then the wild herbaceous edges around the edge of the garden. This is the time everyone's doing their watering before the sun comes up. I think it's going to be quite toasty today. A big salad bed here. See, this gives me hope because everything is growing so close together. This gorgeous seating area, they've even got a fireplace within this stone structure. My goodness, absolutely beautiful. Tomato plants here growing out of big terracotta pots. This is a really nice idea for in my greenhouse, but I need to look for some of these big metal supports. I'm sure I'll find some in the stores later. What's that? Oh, an espalier? Yeah, but I think we've got that exact one. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see. So did they just say to you it took 18 days to build this? They all have 18 days, basically, to build their structures. Ah. Oh. Have you seen these tomatoes? Yeah, I just said I need to get um, some supports like that. I think Charlie would be very happy with a ginormous outdoor kitchen like this. Surrounded by beautiful blooms and they've got a Della Vita pizza oven that looks amazing up on that plinth, my goodness. And then this beautiful corner with an antique unit filled with terracotta pots and baking ingredients. Very wholesome. Herbaceous inspo at the Royal Entomological Society Garden. Inspired by the beauty and biodiversity of brownfield sites. And a brownfield site is what they are building at the Cotswold Distillery near our house, which is going to be very exciting. A place where insects can be studied, inspiring future insect scientists. My goodness, it's always fascinating to see who build the gardens. It's lovely, isn't it? Lots yeah. of herbaceous items. Gosh, look, the newt this year have done a giant beehive. How it's fabulous. Unbelievable. That. unbelievable. Gorgeous. Wildflower turf stall, or what do you call it? It's beautiful. Gosh, I love this um, bird feeder. Frog, isn't he? Bird bath with the froggy structure. Let's see, they're explaining their wildflower turf process here. This is the state that ours was just a few weeks ago. A drainage layer, a cedar mat. Charlie's snapping away. Garden of reflection and celebration. How beautiful. Got viburnum, delphiniums, lots of irises, and a bronze King Charles. <laughs> Here's Hartley Botanic. I've got to say, they should have done a Cotswold stone base like ours. That would have been spectacular. Of course, we know it takes a long time to build a Cotswold stone wall. People can still see the quality of the greenhouses. So this is the Victorian villa. I think it's the same size as the one that we've got. Yeah, I think so. And they've actually got some beds inside the greenhouse. Perfect for tomatoes. I think the salad leaves might bolt. Wow. My business card still in my desk. Oh my gosh. It's like a hit giant this exact genie position bottle. last year. Yes, I remember. It's funny, everyone obviously has offered their, their same location, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, look at this water trough. These giant stone planters, and they've got a stone water trough. I think I prefer ours actually. <laughs> a little bit more covered in lichen at home. A fabulous big stone table. Gosh. Good, isn't it? Imagine using this as your potting table. Fabulous. Yeah, that is this a chair or is it just a hanging item? I think it is a chair. It's a chair isn't it? Wow. No, it's not a chair. <laughs> you kind of want to climb into no, 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 it. It is a chair. It is a chair. Look at this. I... Fabulous copper structures. My goodness. You find it all here. <laughs> just an oak planter. Do you mean in the herbaceous? How Charlie just knows everybody. <laughs> They've either been to our house to install things or remember some from last year. Look at this. Gosh. This is fabulous. Did you put something like this in a hotel called Great Fosters?
magical fairy tale creatures. You've got um, Peter Rabbit, Alice in Wonderland's friends, <laughs> little garden figurines. These I can imagine us having in our garden, darling. Some lounging chairs. How fabulous. Inside the main marquee, this is where all of the flower growers um, and other businesses show off their wares, their produce for the year, anything new that they've grown, any new uh, combinations. This is really beautiful for a more oh, sculptural like garden. Process. Yeah, I've never seen clematis growing so low to the ground before. Well, it, it, it can think about it like this. Clematis doesn't self cling. So if you let your clematis. It needs to climb, right? No, you could just leave it to grow like that. But it likes to climb. Yes, but it needs support. So if you didn't support it, it would just look like That's why those rings are such a good idea. Lovely, as you come into the main marquee, you've got the heroines of horticulture. And all of these lovely sketches. Who's this? A plantswoman, Ellen Wilmot. Garden owner, plantswoman and rose expert. I like to call myself a garden owner, plantswoman and sausage dog expert. <laughs> the Allium stand, here we go. Let's spot how many we've got in our garden. The Globe Master, we've definitely got a few of those popping up. And then, oh my goodness, so many different types. Purple Rain, the Garlic Allium, the traditional white blooms. What's this, Purple Sensation? Oh, Purple Giant. Gosh, and this one is a gold medal winner. Beautiful. In the iconic David Austin area, they always have the most beautifully scented stall in all of Chelsea. Let's go in and experience the fragrance of all of these probably hundreds of thousands of beautiful blooms. And of course, a gold medal again for the David Austin Rose Stand. Unsurprising. Look at all of this incredible diversity in the roses. So beautiful. Kew Gardens, that's a pretty one. White and yellow over there. Centifolia. Eustacia Vi, a classic English rose. That is stunning. Emily Bronte has always been one of my favourites. Just beautiful. Magical, absolutely magical made it to the absolutely incredible hospitality area that the Newt put on here at the flower show and I just want to share with you some of the gorgeous produce they've got for breakfast. Charlie and I got to experience lots of this actually for the first time this time last year at the flower show but then again when we stayed there at New Year they have so many of their gorgeous homemade um, marmalades and jams there. I think it's called their hedgerow jam is my absolute favorite. Little yogurt station gosh I really need to learn how to show you guys food without my mouth watering it so heavily so what do we have apple and walnut granola honey glazed ham from the southwest salted butter yogurt holly mead yogurt oh the croissants oh my gosh I'm going to Ibiza tomorrow so should be thinking about having something healthy but I'm not gonna be able to resist this feast oh my goodness is so simple and so effective they have sprayed garden um, utensils the same green as the walls so it's a very subtle form of garden inspired wall art I absolutely love it it's beautiful Iroko oak um, dining sets we're very tempted by some new sun lounges this one is 21 years old this set is only three years old but we're saying how beautifully weathered they are let's see what the brand name is Wanganui Ethan. Hmm, okay, catchy. A lovely garden antique spot. I remember we came here last year, fell in love with loads of pieces which were already sold out or reserved. It's a beautiful old stone planter. Look at this giant one over here that the tree's in. Covered in lichen. Beautiful natural swimming pools. Gosh, this is very much on our wish list. Can you imagine if we were able to turn the little canal area into a beautiful natural pool? 
stunning. That one's amazing. It's it's thing with serious so inspo. High. Unless we did a deal with a farmer, we would have to dredge it into trucks. Very much on my shopping list today are some new plant supports for my runner beans, my tomatoes, and my courgettes, which this year I really want to try growing them vertically instead of horizontally so I can make the most of the space. So we've come to the Muntons plant support stand. These are the guys whose hydrangea supports we have. The quality is top notch if you're looking for plant supports. This is who you need to chat to and as you can see here they've got lots of frames in the middle. This could be a really good one for my climbing beans. This is what I've already got in the garden for my broad beans and they're using it for the same. And I'm thinking of getting a few of these steaks to do um, some tomato supports and then they've got this more square tomato support which looks lovely so lots of inspo here looking for now darling transplanting trowel transplanting trowel that's probably quite similar to the heart-shaped one that I've got isn't it well I, this is my most used one which one the one that's at an angle ah. Love it. Here, yeah, mm -hmm. That's the most used one, I'd say. Very handy. Yeah. It's not just garden brands here today. Boodles is here. Jewelers. That's interesting. Let's go and see what pieces they've got in here. Magpie drawn in by this beautiful floral ring. I'm going to have to give it a try. Beautiful artwork. This is an area, a stall from Suzanne and Twistle. We've rather fallen in love with this beautiful alien print. It's all just made up of a series of dots. So effective. And then this beautiful bluebell woods. How gorgeous. Presentation of the brushes in this stall. So nice lovely. Presentation, isn't it? Really lovely. Is it that one? Every brush that you could possibly imagine. <laughs> at the Newt. They've got more of their lovely local produce, cheese and crackers, build your own ploughman style. Look at all these lovely homemade chutneys from the Newt down in Somerset. Oh my goodness, I think I could be here a while. I'm going to have to sample each and every one of these cheeses. My goodness. As well as the fabulous buffet, we were able to choose some dishes from the small plates menu. So what have we got, darling? Firstly, I just love the font yeah. and the wording. I this is our our wedding menu. It's like slightly inspired by the new Arte. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So we have kitchen garden, turnips, peas, Westcombe lardo, is that that with one? dandelion honey dressing. That one? Um, I, yeah. I think it's got to be that one. Yeah. Yep. What else? Then we have the apple gin cured chalk stream trout, which is there. Lovely. And we have the young carrots from Avalon Farm, beef, tallow, tarragon and walnut. That's the one I'm most excited about. Mm. Then we've got beef top British side. white topside cooked rare, salt baked, beetroot, beetroot and nasturtium. Nice. Radish one. Yeah, that is the Kida House cherry bell radishes dill with dill hang up and sourdough breadcrumbs. And then this, sorry, this must be the trout. So what's that over there then? Who knows? Lunch, we've come into the Great Pavilion again and there is a ladere area. So I think we might treat ourselves to a lovely box of floral themed macarons. They've collaborated with a florist called Poppy Sturley. Look at this incredible installation. All the giant alliums. Almost looks like jasmine in there too. Beautiful, isn't it? White alliums are amazing. How have they managed to keep these going for so long when mine, mine are all finished? Absolutely beautiful. Just after 2 p.m. and we have left the flower show. We've been there since half seven this morning. I'm heading back there a little bit later. But what did you think, darling? I thought it was fantastic. Good. It's uh, every year, well, this is our second or third year, year I think. in the row. It's um, it's super inspiring, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it is baffling to think they have 18 days to put together what you see there. Yeah. 
um, I think what we really appreciate is is how all the plants are in their perfect condition, aren't they? Yes. So like the alliums are like perfectly out, or the lupins, or the whatever it is, they're yeah. like perfect. Um, it's exhausting. It is a knackering day, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I feel I feel physically pretty exhausted because you're on your feet all day. Yeah, it's good but, to get lots of inspo though for the garden. Yeah. We saw some beautiful new brands. The food was amazing. Signs. The newt, yeah. wasn't it? They I'm look after food. us very well. For a hospita for hospitality, it's unbelievable. Yes. Yeah, it's really lovely but as always recommendation is to get there early as early as you can i'm heading back there later with lilla whose birthday is today for a bit of a party with Nettie porter the newt and vanity fair but the reason that i'm dashing in a cab with charlie is i'm hopping out at number 80 harlow street dr tom crawford clark because i'm getting my composite bonding done today today is my final teeth appointment i'm getting my attachments on the bottom row taken off a wire retainer putting on the, the top only and my composite bonding done so my teeth before <laughs> you've seen them many many times but um yeah i'm gonna have a very different smile next time i see you and next time i see you hey. yay no more bunny teeth although i do love my bunny teeth but it'll be nice to have a more even smile which can be done with the magic of composite bonding so i'll film a little bit hopefully it won't be as hilariously unflattering as what i filmed before but maybe i'll just leave on a little time lapse so you can see a bit of behind the scenes so darlings i'll catch up with you in an hour or so the, the, mm -hmm. the ones that we did was redoing them okay yeah great so the, the Cool. So what we'll do is, and we'll put the wires on this. Only top. On the top, not and the I'm bottom. And I'm going to wear my retainer on the, on the bottom. bottom. Okay, cool. Be good with them. Cool. <laughs> um, so we're going to take the attachments first. Oh, yes. All right. Yeah, so yeah, of course. Wait, I'm actually okay. super jealous. <laughs> After quite a long time with Dr. Tom and his lovely assistant at 80 Harley Street, which is not going to be their location by the time you're watching this because they are moving around the corner, we had. Um, I listened to a lot of podcasts during that appointment, but so pleased with the finished result. I almost shed a little tear when I looked in the mirror at the end because you guys have been along this journey with me, but I have been on a mission to perfect my smile for so, so long. I wish I was looking and feeling a bit more glamorous to show you because I've got day old makeup and I've been sat with my mouth open <laughs> literally for three hours so feeling a little bit old and crumply but my teeth I just I can't stop staring at them even in the viewfinder so the appointment was a long one because we had to firstly remove the remaining attachments that were there from my Invisalign and then oh gosh it's all a blur <laughs> it is all a blur um and then we had to do composite bonding on the first four, which I think I filmed some clips of, and then the side two, and then the side two on the other side. So I've had eight teeth composite bonded, which is such an incredible thing that Dr. Tom is able to do, literally designing your perfect smile. He looks at your face, the kind of style that you want. I wanted mine to be nice and natural, but I said I wasn't afraid of having like a big teeth look, because I've always had quite big teeth, and I feel like it does suit me somewhat and then after the bonding which I can tell that Tom is such a perfectionist the way that he was putting such detail into every tooth and 
wouldn't stop until it was absolutely perfect loads of finishing touches at the end and then I had my wire retainer wire put along the back of the front teeth so they're held in place but invisibly which is great and then we took a scan so that I can have a proper retainer made and we're trying to find a way of getting that to me in Ibiza <laughs> so that I'm not without a retainer for so long um, but yes, I will show you my teeth properly in the next vlog when I've got like a fresh face of makeup on and everything. But the gaps are gone. I was conscious of having slightly fang-like teeth on like these two, but he's made them look so natural. Um, I could not be happier. I feel like I just, I'm gonna be staring at my teeth for the rest of time. So incredible, worth the wait, definitely worth the wait. And now I am in a taxi whizzing back to the Chelsea Flower Show. We had a lovely invitation tonight from Netta Porter, Vanity Fair and The Newt for a bit of a party, a bit of an evening celebration. And I think it'll be a lot more quiet, a lot more calm. We had a calm 45 minutes this morning before the floodgates opened um, and then it got so busy. I don't even think I filmed much towards the end of our time there this morning because it got so busy, but I have a feeling it'll be nice and calm now and I'm meeting Lala there. So I will catch you at the flower show for part two. Straight back to our favorite garden from earlier to show Lala. Admiring the kales, <laughs> the lettuces, the herbs, the herbs in the herb beds, herbs, herbs, in the watering can. I think a lot of the gardeners are hosting guests this evening. Lots of dressed up folk. Very lovely. I noticed that earlier. It looks like the dragon from um, Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> they almost look a bit like Dexy. Wow. Stunning. And the wildflower coming from the roots of the tree. 